Hi everyone, it's Erin from the Provincial Farmhouse. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I have a Timu Halloween haul. I have some fun projects for you to try as well to make decor for your home or for resale. Let's get started. Timu is an online marketplace with a huge variety of products at affordable prices. My favorite way to shop is via the Timu app. It's super easy to navigate and find what you're looking for. Download the Timu app via the link in my description and you can unlock a $100 coupon bundle or you can search the code DEAL2355 in the Timu app to claim your coupon bundle. Okay, let's check out my awesome Halloween haul. First, we have this seven piece pumpkin silicone mold set. Now this has a 3D mold. It actually has two of them. So you can actually pour resin in there and create little 3D pumpkins. I'm so excited to show you how to do that in this video. Then they also have a lot of really lovely autumn leaf molds, a lot of different sizes, a lot of different details. They have this sweet one with the bats and more Halloween themed designs. You're definitely spoiled for choice in this bundle and you can use them with clay or you can use them with resin. They're very highly detailed. Next, I managed to get some wonderful retro potion label stickers. These have so many fun little designs in there. You have so many to choose from here and a lot of them are quite whimsical for Halloween or even perfect for an apothecary or dark academia style display if that's how you want to decorate this Halloween. I have some great ideas on how you can use these coming up. Next, I have this lovely apothecary sign. This is actually made out of metal, so it's very durable. It's really fun and vintage looking, perfect for that apothecary style Halloween we were talking about. Then I have this lovely blank canvas tote bag. This is perfect for crafting and creating your own fun Halloween or fall bag. Timu has lots of great craft blanks, including these lovely wooden coasters. This comes in a set of five, so you've got quite a few to choose from. And then next, there's this small wooden serving tray, but you could definitely also use that as a sign blank, which is what I'm going to do today. Next, we have this super fun bundle of scrap paper. These are Halloween themed. They're very fun and whimsical. Perfect for crafts with your kids if you're looking for some ideas for the Halloween season. In this video, I have a super easy project for you guys to try with these papers, but they are so versatile. Honestly, there is no limit to what you can do with these. Next, I have a pack of 12 Halloween stencils here, guys. There are so many cute designs in this one. And here you can see we've got one with a cute little cauldron. We've got quite a few with some fun little sayings, some cobwebs, a lot of easy ones to use to create some fun signs for Halloween. Later in this video, I'm going to show you two different ways that you can use these stencils. Something that I think is important to note is that this comes with a little ring that you can open and each of the stencils has a little hole so you can thread them on the ring and keep them all super organized. Next, we have these lovely amber glass style bottles. These come in a set of two and these have a variety of uses. In the pack, you actually also get a little funnel so you can put some liquid or whatever in there. And then it also has two little labels, but we're going to be using these for something else a little bit later. Then I have this larger boxed item. I was so excited to get this one. And I honestly think this is such a fun piece, not just for Halloween. It's a lovely little drawer storage piece. It has lovely drawers with labels, library card catalog labels. It is such a fun piece, such a unique item that would look great in a home office, a kitchen maybe holding some recipes. There's no end to what you can do with this. So excited for this one. 
Now let's get started on our Halloween projects. I have these lovely amber glass bottles and the fun sticker pack. I have selected two labels that we're going to use. Now because these are stickers, this is a super easy project. I'm just going to peel off the backing. My bottle surface is clean and then I'm going to press my sticker down where I want it to go and smooth it down. I really love this label because I'm a Harry Potter fan. So this is perfect if you want a little bit of a Harry Potter Halloween theme this year. And and then for the next one, I really liked that it had like the skull and bones. I felt like that was very Halloween, very fun. So I'm just going to stick that one down as well. This was super fun and easy. Definitely a fun craft for Halloween. Now we're going to focus on this little drawer organizer. I'm going to be using some of the stickers that we were just using before. I'm just going to work out how big of an area I have to work with. And then I'm actually going to cut the stickers to fit the little card catalog labels that are already in the drawer. Now I'm not going to take the backings off these little stickers just in case I want to change the function of these drawers in the future, but they just slide right in really easy. So I'm going to pick a few that are of the same color so that they will complement each other. And again, I'm just cutting them down to size. You could definitely put some images in these little labels if you wanted instead. There is lots of really fun images in this sticker pack. For the drawer down the bottom, I have a little bit more room to work with. So I've selected a sticker that has a bit of a wider label to fit that particular section. And here's our finished apothecary style Halloween vignette. You can see these lovely bottles look so great with those fun stickers. And that apothecary sign goes beautifully with our apothecary style drawer organizer. Let me know what you think of these fun pieces in the comments. Next, I'm going to be using those fun pumpkin silicone molds and I'm just pouring a fast set resin into the 3D pumpkin mold and also into some of the little leaves that we're going to be using. I'm going to be putting those with the pumpkins as well. And you can see here, the detail in these are amazing and these are so easy to use. And again, you can use these with clay if you don't have resin. So those sweet little pumpkins are lovely. I'm going to take out some of these leaves. The detail in those leaves is awesome. You can see all the little uh, crinkled edges. And now I'm going to pull out my pumpkin. And this was so fun, guys. I haven't used a 3D mold before and these were really easy to use and the detail was really great. Next, I'm going to be using a pumpkin colored chalk paint to paint my little pumpkins. And I think these would be super fun on one of those tiered trays that you see. So these have a lot of uses when you're decorating for Halloween or fall. So I'm going to work my way around the little pumpkin, just painting it. They're very detailed. So I did use a smaller brush so I could get into all of those details. I want to add some of the little leaves that we made. So I'm going to paint those in a green chalk paint. I did cast a few of them as I did actually create three pumpkins. So we need three leaves to go with those. And then I'm going to use the same green paint to paint the stalk of the pumpkin. Once my paint has completely dried, I'm going to use some hot glue to attach the little leaves to our pumpkins. I want to make a little sign to go with the pumpkins we just created. So I'm going to take that little wood blank and I'm actually going to use a stain to stain around the outside so that it looks a bit more like a frame. And then I'm going to be using some paper towel to wipe back the stain and help it to blend. And then when that's dry, I'm going to use some tape to tape off that border that we just painted as I'm going to be painting the center with a white chalk paint and I don't want to get any of the paint on the stain that we just did. Once I have the border taped off, I'm going to paint the center with two coats of a white chalk paint. When my paint has completely dried, I'm going to remove the tape that we added 
from the edges and you'll see we have a nice clean line. And once I've done that, I'm going to be using one of the cute stencils that we got. I really like this little pumpkin with the witch's hat. So I'm gonna actually trim it out off the stencil to make it a little bit easier to work with. I'm placing it in the center and then I'm going to use some tape to tape it down but this is also going to prevent me getting too much paint on the background. And once I have it all taped in place I'm going to use a black chalk paint and I'm just dabbing and stippling that paint over the stencil. And just remember to take your time here and hold that stencil in place when you've got a few different little elements that could move. And once my paint's dry I'm peeling that stencil back. I then decided I wanted to use that same pumpkin color that we used earlier. So I'm going in and painting just the little pumpkin's face using a small artist brush. Next, I wanna add some more of those lovely little leaves that we cast, but I wanna paint them in that same pumpkin color. So I'm going to paint each of the little leaves in that same color and then let them dry. I'm then going to use a strong glue to attach them to the background of our sign. So I want it to look like the leaves are falling all around our little jack-o'-lantern with the witch's hat. So this is just a really fun, whimsical sign that again, I think would look great in any Halloween display and definitely something that you could do with the kids. And here's our finished sign with our mini pumpkins. I think these look so cute together. Let me know what you think of these in the comments. Next, I'm going to be using this lovely canvas bag. I'm going to first iron it out because we're going to be doing some stenciling and I want a nice flat surface to stencil on. Next, I'm going to be using another one of those fun stencils. I love this trick or treat design and I think it will go perfectly on this bag. My first step is to tape it in place with some masking tape. It will also help me avoid getting paint around the outside where I don't want it to go. I'm then going to use a black chalk paint to do my stenciling and I'm going to use a little bit more paint than I usually would so that I can work it into the fibers of our canvas bag. I'm definitely taking my time here. You can see I'm holding some of the letters in place as I'm dabbing so that I don't accidentally get some underneath the stencil. And I think that this would be a super fun trick or treating bag. So if your kids like to go trick or treating, this is a perfect bag to take with them. Once I am done, I'm going to carefully peel that away and I would use a hot iron to heat set this the next day. And here's our finished trick or treat bag. This was such a fun and easy project that anyone of any age could do. Let me know what you think of this in the comments. For our final project today, I'm going to be using those wooden coasters with that fun Halloween scrap paper. I'm actually going to pick out five different paper designs and we're going to be creating some fun coasters. Once I've selected my papers, I'm going to put the coaster on the back of the paper and then use a pencil to trace around the outside. And then I'm going to use some scissors to trim out the shape I want. And I'll repeat that process for each of the coasters. Next, I'm going to add a nice thick layer of a decoupage medium. This is actually going to help our paper adhere. And then once I have that in position, I'm going to add another two coats of that decoupage medium so that if I want to use these as actual coasters, I will be able to. When the coasters are dry, I'm going to use a block of 220 grit sandpaper to sand the edges and get a nice clean edge. And here are our finished Halloween coasters. These were so fun and easy to create. Let me know what you think of these in the comments. I really hope that you enjoyed today's Timu Halloween haul and that the projects have inspired you to get crafting. Remember, you can find the links to the products used in today's video in the description and also a link to download the Timu app and to claim your $100 coupon bundle. Thanks for watching.